Okay, folks, this is an upside down painting. I'm going to paint over. Oops, didn't go anywhere. Uh, this is 16 inches by 12, standard one for the UK. Uh, I'll just rub it down a little bit, get the, the pimples off. Palette yellow ochre, cadmium, uh, cadmium red, ultramarine, burnt sienna, paint grey, and cadmium light. Uh, that's my basic palette, although I do vary the, the, the yellows and the reds. Um, so it's five colours plus the paint grey. Uh, right now, what I want to try to demonstrate here is is uh, painting sky, painting your landscape using as little detail as possible, but still making uh, a an impression of what you're doing. The one I did yesterday, here it is. So I'm talking to myself because you won't understand. Um, this was done with just the one brush and those figures were just painted with a, with a, a worn out, not rigor, but number two or three, I don't know, whatever it was. But it, just for the figures, but all the rest of it was painted with the one brush, or one of those two, or one of those three. I've got lots of them worn out, so I used them. Um, so what we've got here is uh, three trees, some bits of growth in between them some light foreground and the trees just made with with mixing the, the primaries and maybe a bit of bit of the Payne's grey. Sky is very very simple I'm not going to copy it I'm just going to do another version but don't get bogged down in detail in trying to show perfect this that and the other because the, the, the more you leave out the better it is in my opinion. I've been known to be opinionated, but then after 40, 40 years of painting, I think I can. Uh, right, okay, so I've got a little bit of a uh, bit of uh, what have we got here? A bit of liquid and a bit of liquid, uh, mixed with a bit of linseed oil. So we'll start with a foreground. I've just got some, some lovely uh, griffin in there. A uh, bit, bit of paint grey. And just just to iterate that. I'm not sentimental about my paintings because I know I can always do them again. But not the same. Oh. Just come down, just get rid of that as quickly as I can. Oh, a bit of blue. Go over that. The painting's a bit wobbly. I've had to block the sun out. It's, it's the time of day where the sun is very low, and my busted uh, uh, Velux window blind. Uh, oh, it's a horrible. It's always been a bit of pain. They make something good, and then they go and ruin it by changing the, the mechanics of it. And this is the third set we've had, so it doesn't bode well for longevity. Oh, I'm going to pay for another one eventually. Look, see what's happening. So let's just, the sun is moving, and, and so is so is the market makes or leaves on the painting. Uh, a bit of, that's a bit of paint grain over there. Here that I don't use pencil, quarter inch flat, lovely painting knife I've had for years. Painting knives are are lovely to use, and the best ones that I've ever used are the day are, are the Winsor and Newton. They they last for years, but the the edges of them get very very. Very sharp, so you have to be careful when you put your knife through a bit of tissue to clean your palette or whatever you're doing, change the colour. A bit of sienna. A 
don't want to spend a lot of time on this. Right, so that would be our sort of a horizon. Over that, we'll, we'll put some glass in there. Uh, just get a bit of uh, sienna, a bit of ochre, a bit of the white. Now, I would be tempted to refine this, to refine that. I will refine it a bit, but not a lot. So, a bit of Payne's grey, a bit of white, a bit of blue. Now, I've done a lot of this, and I've done a lot of lousy skies too. Some light underneath those clouds. Got a little bit of red on, them. on it. Oh, no, a little bit of touch of red. Oh, a little bit heavy there on the uh, on that cloud, just to get a bit of detail on it, detail texture. A bit of light behind behind it. Going to nothing. If you don't learn to paint in a day, it's a process that you learn and mature with. Provided you don't give up in disgust. Uh, yeah, I like that. Okay, so that's got a bit of light on the horizon now. You're always going to leave more on the palette than you, you put in the, on the board or whatever you're painting on. There's a bit of 3mm MDF. We're lighting that horizon a little bit. Soften here and there. Just putting a bit of impasto in there. Right, let's get in and do a do a that's sort of a background, paints grey with a bit of red, a bit of blue, a bit of white. And there, have some downs. There Go a little bit lighter. This is a, that, that's a see the sun's moving around. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll turn it over because it's got a, I've got a peep on there and it's letting this the sun. Right, okay, let me waste paper bin over. Right, there we are. Uh, so, you want to give that brush no, it's all coming in. Oh. Go away, son. Shouldn't say that. The temperature outside is about one degree centigrade. The freezing cold night. It took me ages to clean the, the ice off my car and the inside of my car as well. I've only got a little micro. But at my age, I don't need a big car. Or even a new one. Uh, I used to, I used to uh, with my job, I used to have bigger slates. Even out of Volvo. But I don't need anything as anywhere near as uh, as heavy as a car like that at my age. I'll put such a yellow into that. I'll try that a bit stronger. Right, a bit of 
bit of ochre, bit of white. I just get a bit of bit of character in there. I'm just making this up now. I'm I'm flying by the seat of my pants. We'll put the uh, the trees over that now. I'm only using one brush, plus one to put figures in with. So you don't want to make all your trees the same, the same size. Vary them, otherwise it makes them monotony. You end up with a regiment of three soldiers or four soldiers. So we can make yellow, red, blue. Three primaries, right? Uh, right, let's get a big, same one here, let's get a big one here. Try to leave some holes in the sky, or in the trees, sky holes. Now, it is a winter's day, or I suppose it is. Come down to the uh, meadow there, a bit of dark in there. Right down there to the meadow. And we're dark. Bit of sun, a bit of hedgerow. And another tree. Paint's grey, bit of that, bit of that. Bit of that, nice and. It's quite heavy that one. No, it's a very, very gentle touch. Just trying to create an impression of a tree. Not a likeness. Right, come here. I'm going to another one, another. No, I don't want it to go like that, so I'm going to put one here. Just to block it. Falling off the board. I do like a lot of red, especially when you've got a lot of green. But how you do it is up to you. But but this is the easiest way I know of of making a realistic picture with without any detail. Come up here with some of that. Oh, it darks in here. We're, we're going to put grass along this bit here. Uh, the paint's grey. Because we, it will counter change against the, the light colour of the grass. Okay, so that's more or less okay. Right, now there's uh, a rig I has not gone near that. Let's get some heavy stuff in on that horizon. And there were guys out there yesterday playing golf on the golf course. But this is all from memory. Well, plenty of red in the trees here. It's probably too much. Right, now we're going to clean the brush. There it is. Now what I've got here is a contrast between the light and the dark. And it is quite effective. It's, it's a sort of detail in the sky, but we don't call it detail. It's an impression. Now this is the bit I love doing is the, is the grasses. So a bit, a bit of oil, a bit of white, a bit of uh, a bit of ochre. Look, light against dark all the time. Just pushing the 
the bristles in the brush just up into that into that horizon maybe don't want it just you know just merge it don't want a straight straight line Look at that. So that's the tip of that. Go and get some more grasses coming up here. Okay. Now then, we've got to fill that all that all in with grass now. So here we go. I like to do these within 30 minutes because the wretched memory card that I'm using SD cards split or at least they, they don't start another video the video doesn't stop but it splits the video into into parts and I have to edit it No poppies. This is sort of a winter scene, although that doesn't look it. Say late autumn, because that's what it is. But the weather, well that weather's coming down from Scandinavia. Look at a bit of bushy grass. A bit of white. With the exception of that bit of uh, alkyd resin paint, the griffin, these are all student Winton colours. Couple of, well, the paint sprayers are uh, Dale Rowney. Oh, get some white in the yellow. Then you get some nice texture, different. Change the. Uh, well, I haven't used it much yet. Well, I have. It's a bit in the sky. Uh, let's make it like meadow like. We can open up some of that, some of that, uh, the tree with a bit of a a bit of what well, texture. Uh, like that. Right, um, what I meant to say was I'm going to gently touch some light into the edge of that, those trees. So here we go. That's the job. Right, so we want that light, that bluey colour. And just gently just put it in. Don't do it with the rigor. Air holes, bird holes, spaces for birds to fly through. paint I've wasted. I'll probably go back to watercolour tomorrow. Phew. Well, texturing with the with the brush. Okay, so that we've, they've now gone into winter, winter trees. 
but they're still there. This is nowhere near the same as what it did yesterday. It's a completely different picture. But now I want to um, put some figures in. And this is the honey bit. So red, I'm always going to put red in because that sings against the green. So, but we've got to be very careful how you place them. So we'll have them, we'll have them on here. Uh, well. some cheese in a minute. Put another one here. Put a hat on. Right. Give them some legs. Sorry if my head's in the way. I try to alter the uh, uh give them a hat. Well they're not they're just suggestions. And we'll have a white figure. Got some uh, paint grey or blue for jeans. They, they're just, just hints, and then we can do some more. Uh, just sort of down the hill a bit. I can go for golf ball. All I'm going to do for that one. Uh, so essentially, that's one brush, and that's a bit of a cliche, I know. There's another one that I've been using. Must be, must be. Uh, right, I cleaned the brushes out with um, some washing up liquid. Oh, there we are. Another ups and downs, similar, but this is a tutorial really of how I got that cloud and, but it was all done very quickly it's when you start fiddling around with with small brushes use the largest brush you can go away with and it helps you to free up and that's I, mean, I could put hints of uh, branches in there but I'm not, I don't need to really it's an impression but if it helps you in any way I'll, I'll be more than happy now that I think is a dirty one so right well thanks for looking in folks i'll see you soon bye bye well there it is in a in a in its frame just an aquati it's not an expensive frame aquati they they look good but they're a bit naff uh, these days but uh well there we are so i hope you like that one folks it's a it's the uh it's a tutorial for basic landscape painting for beginners, something like that. Because there's nothing there that, that is beyond any of you that are just starting. So I hope you like the demonstration and I'll uh, get back to you soon. Bye bye.